You know I can't let you question students without their guardians present. I need to be sending everyone home. It's best to keep everything running normally. Are you serious? There's no reason to believe anyone else is in danger. It seems like a completely isolated incident, and we just want to ask him a couple of questions. Ms. Miller, we understand today's a rough day for no, you. No, you don't understand. Don't you think it's a little coincidental that it just so happens to be the same day? You said it yourself. He left the note for me. I know. Till, but there's a lot of sick people in the world, and everybody you knows. You know I'm right, Kate. The guy just got out of jail. How could he possibly? Can I speak to Detective Easton alone for a moment? Okay. Can you please drop the holier-than-thou detective act and talk to me like a human being for one minute? I'm just being honest. Tilly, it, it's bad. It, it's a hard day, but I... I'm sorry. I know how it sounds, but right here, right now, no one else is in danger. These are my kids. Kate, you better be right about that. The best thing we can do is follow protocol. So can you just trust me to do my job? Please. Fine. Yeah? Yeah, fine. Thank you. He wrote me, you know, from prison, same time every year. It's not going to get near you. OK, I I'm not going to let that happen. Do you still have them? The letters? Yeah. I'm gonna need you to get them to me. I figured. Get your hands off me, you Ryan, <laughs> what the hell? This punk just assaulted a police officer. She told me Owen's dead. Is Owen dead, Miss Miller? You're supposed to wait for me to talk to him. Is Owen dead? You need to leave now. No. You can have their parents bring them down to the station if you want to talk to them, but you will not do it here. Get out. Let's go. Kate shouldn't do it. He can't even open up a beer bottle on his own. What makes you think he can murder his own boyfriend? Are you gonna eat those? I mean, I don't know. People can surprise you. Never know when they're just gonna snap. Please tell me you remember when he had to slice open that frog in bio. <laughs> yeah, he was my lab partner. I remember. <laughs> he spewed everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I heard he punched a cop in the face. That doesn't sound innocent to me. Lovers quarrel. I heard they brought Mr. Morrison, too. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Do tell it weird. You just say that because he actually makes you do your homework. I have football practice every day after school and on the weekends. I'm busy. I'm busy too. The musical's like a full-time job. Gage or Mr. Morris, maybe a drama department scandal? <laughs> maybe Joni's next. <laughs> Don't go off in any dark corners, Joni. You know, at least not alone. Oh, seriously, that's not even funny. Can we please stop talking about it? Take a joke. Yeah, what is wrong with you? Owen is dead. How can you be so normal? You're so chill about it, Scott. Maybe you're the killer. I didn't kill him. It did give me a party theme, though. Killer, party. Really tactful. Oh my god. Jackass. You aren't serious. Yes, I am. It's perfect. Who can turn down a theme party? That's terrible. And brilliant. <laughs> Come on, just say. And brilliant. <laughs> Knew I'm it. just glad you finally gave me an excuse not to go. Oh, you're coming. <laughs> Everyone is. Joni? Sorry, Taylor. I'm not sitting at home alone. Owen loved theme parties. You would want us to go, and with everything going on, I think I need it. You're all terrible people. 
Come on, Tay. We could all use a little time to blow off some steam. Seriously? Jesus, Taylor, what's your problem? What the hell is your problem, Wes? Owen was murdered last night. Our friend is dead. Someone killed him. In real life, you don't just move on and chat about Friday night's party like it's any other day. Killer party. I can't even. Tay. Way to go. What did I do? These are good. Well? Says he was home all night working on his audition material for the school musical. But conveniently, the only person home to confirm his alibi was his little brother. How little? Fourth grade. He was asleep by nine. Three hours. Plenty of time to travel a mile, kill his boyfriend, and make it back home. Yeah, I'm aware. So what do you want me to do? Just don't let him go yet. Get a writing sample and hold him till you get it to an analyst with a note from this morning. You got it. Bryce Morris's alibi checks out. He was at a friend's birthday party. Dozens of witnesses to confirm. Great. Let him go. I did. Like 20 minutes ago. Believe it or not, Easton. I'm pretty good at my job. I know. Sorry. All good. What's the word with the code, guys? Anything on the riddle? No. Just time. Yeah. Three days. Then what? I don't know. Better figure it out. Time's ticking. Hi, Principal Miller. I'm sorry to bother you. Um, I need to make a schedule change, and Mr. Morris said I need you to approve it. <clears throat> of course. Becky, come in. What class is it you're unhappy with? Oh, nothing. I just have to change third period to musical theater. I am the musical. Wow, on your first day. I'm surprised Gage allowed that. Let me see if I can help. Thank you. Um, so this is my free period, last period. So if you could change third period to fifth period to make up for the musical, I'd be totally okay with that. Unless it's not possible. This is fine. There we go. You're all set. I hope you're enjoying Kingstown High. Thank you, Principal Miller, I am. I am actually having a really great first day. <laughs> <laughs> Wear a diaper, freak. Are you really that immature? I know you're busy, but could you take a minute to frickin' call me back? I'm just gonna tell my mom to go near your place. I'll meet you outside. Hey, Reggie, wait up. 